Welcome back to another video guys. We are here in the city of Bayou Gwangi. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but wow. Take a look at this. Can you believe it? This is so beautiful. Right there in the distance, that is not a mountain. It is actually a volcano. How incredible. Hello. Okay, we have arrived in this beautiful place and I could not be any more happy. I actually was not expecting to come here. I was literally on my way to the next station so that way I could get a ferry to Bali. But on my way, on the train ride, I seen such stunning beauty, such stunning nature that I couldn't help myself but get off the train one stop earlier. And we are going to be exploring this city for a little bit, one day at least. Right now, I literally had no plans of coming here. So I'm gonna try to find somewhere that I could find some Wi-Fi. So that way I could find a hostel or a hotel and see what we can do from there. But anyways, let's go and let's explore this magical city. Yo, look over here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but over there, there's literally people just using the river to bathe and to wash their clothes how interesting is that so i found a coffee shop but i don't know if it's open unfortunately i do think it is closed because it's only about 6 a.m and i was looking up hotels earlier i did see that the hotels were in this area so i don't want to walk too far away from this spot so that way i'm gonna have to walk all the way back but we definitely need to find a Wi-Fi connection somewhere. Oh, wait, what the hell? Is that a mosque? Look at how beautiful that is. It's definitely some type of place of worship, but is it a mosque? That is the question. If it was a mosque, this would be a very unique style of architecture that I haven't seen before. Let's investigate and see if it's an actual mosque or maybe something else. Hello. Hello. Is this a mosque? Masjid. Masjid. Ah, really? Cool. It's beautiful. Wow. Yes, thank you. Yes, actually I was right. It is a masjid, a mosque. How beautiful. This is so incredible. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you know one of the things I love to do is visit all the mosques around the world. And just take a look at this one. Wow, how beautiful. It's definitely a very Asian style architecture, very different than what we've seen in Jakarta and what I've seen in another city called Sarabaya. But just take a look at this. So beautiful, so magnificent. The only thing that I'm looking for now is where is the minaret? Huh, I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere behind, but either way, so beautiful. Right, so such a blessing the person that confirmed that it was actually a mosque also had a wi-fi connection so i was able to find the hotel and it was a very good idea that i found one now because the hotel is back in the direction that we just came from actually funny as it is it was literally right across the train station so we're going to walk over there and we were able to find a hotel not even a hostel but a hotel for 87,000 rupiah, which is about five US dollars. So that's where we're headed to right now, and we'll check it out. All right, so we made it to the hotel, and it's only 6 a.m., so I'm not able to check in, but it's, a, it's really, in fact, more of a homestay. The lady offered me some free coffee, and voila, this is it. It's nothing too special, but for about five, six dollars USD, very good. Amazing. Literally 6.50, not even 7 o'clock, and they allowed me to check into the hotel. So, we're gonna show you guys a little bit of a tour of the hotel. So here we go. Honestly, it's not anything so special. We have a bed, we have a table, my coffee, a mirror, and a private washroom, as well as a private shower. So, too special, but for $5 USD, it's pretty good. And then, but this is truly special. Look at this. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. We are literally like surrounded by nature, surrounded by the jungle. And 
certain things I've never seen in my entire life. Can you guess what fruit that is? This is a papaya tree. A papaya tree. Look at that, those are papayas too. I've never seen a papaya tree in my life. And I forget the name. I don't, I, but this is another fruit. And just look at it. I'm sure you probably, unless you're from an Asian country, you might have never even heard or seen that before. Sorry, actually, you could tell me. Yeah. What was the name again? Uh, durian. 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 Yes. Durian. Ah, I think they have it in Brazil. Brazil? Yes. Yes, yeah. But uh, you have to wait until fall. Ah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Actually, I remember, I think I've seen it in Brazil oh, before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. In Indonesia, it's named Durian. Durian. durian yes actually yeah. now i remember i remember hearing yeah. that okay okay thank <laughs> you you're welcome yes thank you like this <laughs> ah. but still young yes this is a baby it's not good yeah baby ah, okay wow <laughs> look at this we have uh, actual durian fruits right here and actually you can see everywhere we go it's all surrounded by durian trees there's more in the distance over there and right there, you see the palm tree, they have coconuts as well. Well, you know what? I think this is such an interesting thing to do that I want to explore a little bit. We are literally going to be exploring a jungle. Imagine that. This is a true jungle right next to the hotel. I'm literally like steps away from my room. And just look at this. How incredible is this? Wow, and this is something like literally for five US dollars, can't recreate. This is an actual jungle, you know, like this is made by nature. So incredible. And just listen to all of the sounds. I don't know what that sound is, but you're just hearing the regular sounds of nature. Birds chirping, different insects and animals. Over here, there's spider webs. So now that I've seen it, I don't know if this is a very, it should be. I'm sure this is a traveled route. I'm sure people walk this area, but are we going to even find some animals? What is there in this jungle? It's a small jungle, but a jungle nonetheless. And wow, man, honestly, I, I, I literally didn't even plan to come here, but this is blowing my mind. And even I was talking to another person that staying at the hostel. They didn't even expect to come here. But when you see this beauty, it's it's impossible not to stop here for at least a day. No, maybe I'll even stay here for longer. Just incredible. And we're actually going to walk a little bit even further to the end of the jungle. It's not a very big jungle, but we're going to walk a little bit further until we get to this rice field. This is something that is very, very popular here, island area and Indonesia as a whole, rice fields. A lot of people, they'll actually go to Bali. A lot of people will go to the islands to witness it, but you can find it. And actually, technically everywhere in Indonesia is an island, but voila, look at this. This is a rice field. I've never seen a rice field. That's so many new things i am seeing for the very first time and oh my god look at that it's the ocean how beautiful oh my i can't wait to visit i don't know if i could start off the video any better we've visited a jungle we've checked into the hotel we've had some coffee this is the best start of my day that i've had in a long time Maybe ever. I'm going to probably relax. Afterwards, we will explore this beautiful city. Let's go. Unfortunately, I slept. So now we only have a very short period of time until the sun goes down. We have come to the number one tourist attraction here in the city, at least in my opinion. The Great Mosque here in the city. And wow, just take a look at this. How incredible. Number one, a common theme that I'm seeing here in Malaysia is they've got the single minaret. The rest of the mosque is actually truly spectacular and so interesting to look at. Just take a look at number one that I noticed is the color. You guys would actually see this type of color in lots of different mosques all around the world. 
predominantly a lot of them are in Iran, Iraq, as well as even Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. And now we are seeing it here in Indonesia, a very beautiful bluish, turquoise-ish color. So magnificent. As well as you can just see, there are all of these little dome structures, three bigger ones and then four smaller ones. What is the significance? I'm not exactly sure. But either way, just take a look at it all. How incredible, so beautiful. We only have a little bit more time before the sun goes down. I'm going to try to get to the beach. On our way to the beach, just take a look at here. We found a local street market where you could buy all different types of things from fish all the way over there to vegetables over here to fruits and the Dorian fruits, which we seen earlier. And a fun fact about the Dorian food is that it is actually native to here in Indonesia. And like I did mention, it is also in Brazil. Although, if you are from a Western country, you probably have never heard about it. The reason why is because it's actually banned from many places. And the reason why for that is because the smell of the Dorian food is actually very bad so that many countries allow it on their public transport and public setting. So yeah, that is a fun fact about the Dorian food that is native to here in Indonesia. Hmm. Hello. Hi. Uh, what is that? Mister, what did you buy? Yes. I, I was just asking, uh, oh, yeah, do you know right. what is that called? The yes. thing that she uh, ordered? What is? Uh, uh, is it orange juice or avocado? Or that was avocado? Avocado? Yes. Uh, how what, much is... How much? Is, much? Yeah, sorry. One or two? Uh, one. How much is one? One. Yeah. Uh, Piramas, avocado. 15,000. 15,000? Yes. And how much is uh, that one? Orange? Yeah. 10,000. 10,000? Yes. Okay. Um, actually, I'll try one of the avocado one. Avocado one? Yes, please. Thank uh, you. Uh, orange? Uh, no, no. Just two. one avocado. Oh, yes. Yes. With juice, milk or sugar? Uh, yes, sugar. please. Thank you. Oh. Yes. Okay. One? Yes, one. Yes. Yes. What is this? Sir? Uh, what is it? There was a lady, she she ordered one just recently. Oh, yes. Yeah, I looked at it and then I, I wanted to try it. You come here? Yeah. Oh, yes. Go to Paralia of Paddy City. I'm going to go to Paralia. I'm going to go to Paralia. I'm going to go to Paralia. Okay, so look at that. He has the avocado in that little thing, adds it into this. And then he has some sort of I think it might be milk. I think it might be either coconut milk or some type of different milk. Oh no, that's the milk. So that might be some type of coconut juice or something. Then he adds the milk and then maybe it might just be water. Cup, I think he adds some sort of chocolate syrup. And voila, that is our avocado mixture drink. Thank you. As you guys can see across the streets of the little market, we've come to this little park where you were able to see there's many different types of fruit juices that you could buy. And the fruit juice that we went for was the one that I seen another lady buy. So hopefully it's going to be good, an avocado drink. So let's try it out and let you know how it tastes. Good luck. Wow. You know what? Never expected an uh, avocado drink to be so tasty, but this definitely is. It's uh, it's mixed in with some milk and some sugar and that little chocolate syrup that we've seen. And all together, it brings out the best taste of the avocado. Absolutely amazing. All for 15,000 rupiah, which is about one US dollar. Definitely recommend if you guys are ever here. So we're very close to the beach and right now we are just walking towards there and take a look at this beautiful view. The sun is basically set right now. Those are not mountains, but they are in fact volcanoes. How incredible is that? One, two, three, four different volcanoes 
in just a short distance. And then over here, we have the marina where you can see some yachts and all different things. And another symbol, I'm not sure what it represents, but we are very close to the beach. So hopefully we'll be able to see it while there's still a little bit more of daylight. One thing I really have to say is even though I've only been in the city for such a short period of time, this is truly like a place I had no intentions of visiting, but it has blown my expectations out of the water, even though I didn't even really have any. So I definitely have to recommend, do not sleep on Bayun Gani, one of the hidden gems here in Indonesia. Absolutely amazing. All right, so we've literally reached the point where we're right next to the beach, although it isn't an actual path towards the beach, but this brave soul is going to try to go for it. So maybe I will follow her. Yes, I will. And we are laying eyes on Bali. That is at the actual island of Bali for the very first time. All right, now let's just hope we don't enter a sinkhole or something. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you have to take the untraveled routes. There was two people that literally turned back, but not me and this girl. We shall push forward. Is it going to be worth it? We shall see. And we have made it. Look at this. It is a black sand beach. And I believe that all of this is actually from all of the volcanoes. It uh, produces a uh, black sand or a black ash which turns into a sand black sand beach and voila you can just take a look at how beautiful it is so amazing as i said before that is literally the island of bali so we are witnessing bali for the very first time this is truly incredible but anyways i don't know what more to say i'm just stunned to be able to witness this although this isn't the actual beach this is not even an area that most people really even go as you guys can see there's only like a few fishermen and one man that's scavenging for things to see but that is the actual beach i would have had to walk like another 20 minutes to go all the way around so i settled for this but maybe tomorrow we will visit over there but for today we have this view and what mashallah it is beautiful with the mountains in the background and the sun setting and if you guys can hear, the call for the Adhan. Beautiful. It's milkshake too? Yes. And this is tea? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Do you have uh, any recommendations? Does it come with actual cheese or? Yes. So this uh, chocolate mix avocado. Ah, okay. It's interesting. What about you? Do you, do you have any idea what you want? I think I try this. Okay, okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, I'm from, uh, born in Canada, but my origin is Morocco and Afghanistan. Yes. Yes. You're from here? Yes. You're from uh, this city? Ah, yes. How long have you been in Banyuwangi? Yeah, I just arrived uh, like 12 hours ago. Not even one day yet. Yeah. I was originally going to go straight to Bali uh -huh. and then I was uh, coming from Surabaya. I was on the train and I looked, I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. So I ended up just staying for one day. Yeah, and I like it so much, I might even stay for longer. I don't know. It's, a, it's such a beautiful place. Yeah. yeah. You have like the volcanoes over here, the sea, the black sand uh, beach. It's a, it's a truly a special place. You guys are very lucky to be born here. This is milk? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like bubble? Boba? Yes, please. Yes. No? yes. Yes, thank you. Brown sugar. Ah, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay, okay. And this, what is it called? This red velvet. Red velvet. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Red velvet, I see. and then he puts it in this machine to mix it all up i believe oh no to seal it ah perfect thank you i pay for both i pay for both 
the no, avocado it's and this. No, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, no problem. And voila, we have ourselves some real authentic bobo tea here in Asia, in Indonesia. We shall try it out and let you know how it tastes. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, now we've got the red velvet mixed all well and now for the very first time here in Indonesia Voila Now I can see why it says red velvet. It really tastes like I'm like I'm drinking a red velvet cake. Very good. Do you have a uh, nasi goreng ayam? Yes. Yes. Uh, Are you speaking Indonesia? No. no. Yeah, just English. Uh, how much is one? Okay. Uh, how much is this? Uh, yeah. How much for this? Same thing. Okay. I get one nasi goreng ayam and one nuts. Thank you. So finally we made it back to the hotel and as you guys can see we have ourselves right here some noodles with a fried egg on top and I also got myself some more nasi gorang although we already have a video reviewing that so we'll stick to this and I didn't get any utensils so we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way and use our hands. All right so we've got a nice big bite right here let's try it out. Bismillah. Amazing, man. Them Asian noodles really hit different. Anyways, other than that, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.